is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can crop a photo using Inkscape. And if you'd like to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out the Inkscape Master Class, which is a collection of over 50 videos where I go over every single tool and feature in Inkscape and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get started here, we're going to open up Inkscape. The first thing we want to do is just make sure that we set up our documents so that we're all working with a similar setup. I'm going to come up here to where it says view. We're going to want custom selected and then I'm going to go to zoom. I'm going to zoom in at one to one. And then I want to open up the uh, the uh, edit objects, colors, gradients and stroke menu with this button up here. Or you could just press control shift F as a, as a uh, keyboard shortcut. And what I want to do now is import my photo into Inkscape. You can do that by going to File, Import, and navigating to the uh, file on your hard drive where the photo is located. Or what I like to do is I like to just grab a folder like this and just click and drag it into Inkscape like that. And I'm just going to choose Embed. If it asks you if you want to embed it or link it, I just like to go with Embed. And there we go. There's the photo I'm going to be cropping. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold Control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. What I'm going to be doing here is removing the subject from the background here. Uh, now, before we get started, I just have to mention that this is the sort of thing that would be better suited for an application like GIMP. Inkscape isn't really designed for working with photos like this. It's more for vector design. Uh, but if you don't feel like downloading, if you're not a GIMP user and you don't feel like downloading and installing GIMP and learning how to use a new piece of software, this can absolutely be done with Inkscape. In fact, I do this with Inkscape all the time. So uh, just wanted to throw that out there before we get started. So let me get started here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. To zoom in and out again, you're just holding control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. We'll be doing that a lot throughout this tutorial. We'll also be moving the page around like this. To do this, I'm pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. Just basic navigation tools you're going to have to keep in mind while working on this. I'm going to start over here at the lower right edge of the subject. I'm going to grab the Bezier pen, which is over here, or you could press B on the keyboard. And I'm going to click to create a point outside of the uh, photo here. And I'm going to start creating points going around the edge of the subject here, just like this. And if you notice, these lines aren't exactly smooth. They're not following the contours of the subject's uh, outline here, but that's okay. We're going to go back and fix that later, so don't worry about that right now. Just go ahead and click to create these points going around the subject. And this is a pretty big photo with a lot of points to create, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and I'm going to fast forward and I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see here, I went around the outside of the subject here and I've traced an outline coming out to the other end of the photo. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this line around outside the photo over here and connect it back to the starting point by clicking on that. And it's going to create a shape there like that. And if you notice now, we have a shape going around the outline of the subject. Let me go ahead and undo that. What we want to do now is we want to account for these negative space areas within, this, within the uh, subject here. Assuming your photo does have these negative space areas. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. But we're going to have to eliminate these areas like uh, between the hand and the shoulder over here and, and the same over here on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create more shapes inside of here doing the same thing. Just creating, following along the contours of the subject with the Bezier pen by creating points like that. I'll put one right there, uh, another one here for the hair. Okay, so once you're done accounting for all of the uh, areas of negative space, what we want to do is combine them all together by grabbing the select tool over here. I'm going to grab this area right here. I'm going to hold shift and click on the other one so that we can select multiples at a time. I'm going to hold shift, click on that one, and then hold shift and click on that one. And you should have all of them selected if you shift click them. And what I want to do is unify them together by going to path union. And now what I want to do is take that group of unified objects and subtract them from the main outline that we created in the background over there. So with this group of objects selected, I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the original outline and I'm going to go to path difference and nothing is going to change visually on the screen but if you change the color of the object here you'll see it now fits the uh, the shape of the subject here if you see I missed that one so let me just subtract that as well path difference there we go okay so what I want to do now is I want to go back to where uh, what I was talking about earlier with those rough lines I want to make them smooth so let me turn off the fill color of this and let me zoom in on this area over here where we started out. 
Let me go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool over here, or you could press N on the keyboard. Let me just fix that line. It's not quite right. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over this node right here, and I'm going to click on this button that says Make Selected Nodes Auto Smooth. And it's going to make that node smooth so that it's no longer like a rough, like a, like a polygonal sort of corner. It's going to make it smooth. I'm going to do the same thing with this node over here. Make that smooth. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through and do this with all of these nodes. But we're not going to do this node by node because that would take forever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select these multiples at a time by holding shift and clicking on them. You can select multiples at a time as I'm doing here. Just hold shift and click and drag over them. And make sure not to select any corners. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to come over here. I'm not going to select that node because it's a corner. I don't want to make that smooth. So with these selected, let me make those auto smooth. And if you notice, it's now smooth. It now follows the contours of the uh, subject there a little more closely. If you take a corner node and you make that smooth, you're going to end up with that. We don't want to end up with that right there. So let me undo that by hitting Control Z. And I'm going to go through and select more of these nodes, making sure to avoid the corners like I previously mentioned. Let me see. Let me see how this looks. Okay, good. Let me go through here and do this as well. I'm going to go through the entire image and do this with all of these nodes, and then once again, I'll, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, so I finished going through and smoothing out all of the, all of the nodes of the, uh, the outline here. Now we're ready to crop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Select tool. I want to take this object right here, and I just want to give this a different color. Like I'm going to make this green, for example, just so we can see what exactly we'll be cropping right here. Now what I want to do is get rid of that outline, so I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on this little red X down here in the bottom left corner. And let me just bring the opacity of this down a little bit, just so I can see. I just want to double check and make sure that everything that I'm cropping out here looks good. And everything it does, it looks like uh, everything looks good here. It looks like uh, it's going to be a clean crop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click on the object right there. Both the object and the photo, we want them both selected. And then we'll go to Object, Clip, Set. And if you notice there, the background of the, uh, of the photo is now gone. In fact, you can create a rectangle. Let me go to the Rectangle tool right here. Create a rectangle. Grab the Select tool, send this to the bottom. And you can see we have our subject cropped out from the background. Now, if at any point you want to go back and remove this crop, you can just go to Object, Clip, Object, Clip, Release. And it'll release it so you can go back to the original photo of how it was. Otherwise, you can just leave it right there as it is. And that is how you can go about cropping a photo with Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.